Matt Swain was a young man who was restless, wanted to see the world, wanted to find out, you know, how to spread his wings and, and move into a, a larger awareness of the global community. And so in his early years, he began to travel. And when he returned to Canada, he was um, on fire to, to do something, to offer himself to work for the church. And so the Mission Center leaders risked and took a, took a chance on this young man and they asked him to start a new plant in Barrie, Ontario. He worked hard to begin building that small group. And in that first year, he made a lot of contacts, a lot of energy to begin starting a small group there. He met a man by the name of Sean Pigeon. Sean was um, the father of children, had a lovely wife, he was blind and he had been diagnosed with severe kidney disease. He was basically told that he would die if he did not get a kidney donor. So Matt heard this. They had been searching for a kidney donor and there was no one whose tissue matched Sean Pigeon's tissue. After praying about it and thinking about it and connecting with the church officials, Matt decided that he needed to offer to give up one of his kidneys if the tissue matched. So he went in for the, the screening, the testing. They analyzed the tissue and back came the report. It was a match. Sean received the kidney. Matt seemed to be recovering fine from the surgery on his own body. And as you know, we have two kidneys. He could survive just fine with, with one of them, the doctor said. But during the time that he was intubated, it turns out that that hose, that tube, damaged the, the esophagus and trachea in his throat. So when he came out of the recovery, he couldn't speak. This is a 70 who is passionate about the gospel, who has this incredible witness, international experience, a, a, a talent for inviting people and hospitality and getting people together and he has no voice. A 70 without a voice and it was very difficult for him and he found himself questioning God. God, I thought I was doing the right thing. I gave up a kidney for Sean. Um, I felt called to do that. I felt your spirit with me and now I can't continue my ministry. I, I don't have a voice to even speak with. You know, help me. Help me understand this. Help me cope. And when he got to the point of surrender, he basically said, no longer heal me, but God be with me in this. Help me find a ministry in spite of my loss of voice. Gradually, his voice began to return. His witness and his voice is just as strong for the gospel message and the mission of Jesus Christ.